Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Uh, today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks and shortcut keys. Uh, just to help you get around the software by using some keyboard shortcut keys. But before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the page. We've hit a lovely milestone of 200 subscribers. So uh, we are working towards our new milestone uh, that we've set of 500. Uh, so if you're new here, please subscribe, hit that bell notification, drop a like if you like the video. And also drop a comment if you have anything to say or you just like the video and want to say thank you. Uh, so let's get into the video. When you're in the dashboard and you want to see what shortcut keys there are available, it's very, very simple in QuickBooks. What you need to do is do Control, Alt and question mark. And what you see here is it will bring up uh, a window which has your company ID on, which you would need if you ever need to speak to QuickBooks support. Um, it also has a list of all the shortcuts that you can do from, from your keyboard. Now, every shortcut uses Control, Alt, and then a letter. So as you can see here, there's invoice expense, customers, suppliers, chart of accounts. So I'll just show you how easy it is. And then also there's a save and new, save and close, save and send when you're actually in a transaction like an invoice or expense. And the most common ones that I use in our practice is a save and new and save and close when we're doing obviously bookkeeping for people on QuickBooks and stuff like that. Um, so I'll show you very quickly those as well. So let's get into it. What I'm going to do is do an expense and then I'm going to go into the suppliers just to show you supplier uh, and then we can obviously take it from there. So we go into an estimate. I went into the wrong one. See, I didn't even look at the shortcut keys myself. It's X, not E. So control X gives me an expense. So what I can do is I can just select the current account, what the expense is, travel, um, train ticket, £20, no VAT. Now, this is where I can show you the save and new and the save and close. So if you want to do save and new, it's Control alt s Okay. Now, if I do another expense and just select a random, charge for contribution, uh, RSPCA, £10, no VAT. Now I want to save and close, which is Control, Alt, and D. Now what you see it does every time is it will save the transaction uh, for you and do then the, the next step. So with the save and new, it saves it, clears it out, and lets you re-enter. So if you're doing a lot of back entry and save and new, that shortcut is very good. If you're just doing the one-offs, the Control, Alt, D for save and close is very good as well. So now we're going to go into suppliers, which is control alt and s. No, it's not. I got that wrong. Control V. See, like I said, I'm not. You can see control V takes you into suppliers. Very simple. Control alt, I'm going to guess C for customers, takes you into your customers. Okay. Control alt A takes you to your chart of accounts. So you can see you very quickly can get around the software without having to drag the mouse everywhere and everything else if you know, if you learn and study these shortcut keys. Uh, I don't use all of them, if I'm going to be honest. I use the save and new and save and close very often I, I because I'm generally doing one thing at a time. So I'll go into expenses, do a load of purchases for someone um, when we're doing their booking for us or we're doing the VAT returns, we sort of do it bit by bit so we don't go into different parts we don't skip around different parts we generally stick to one piece of um, one side of the input in at a time so as you can see that's very very simple very very easy to get around the software by using keyboard shortcuts especially if you're doing a lot of bookkeeping so that's it for today uh, quite a short video like I said before thank you to everyone that subscribed if you haven't subscribed and you're new here do subscribe hit that bell notification, drop a like, drop a comment. Even if it's just to say thank you, helpful, or you've got a question, doesn't matter. We reply to every comment. But until next time, stay safe.